Family is good. Having memories with family is real good. Being able to bond, being on the same page, being able to come together for family gatherings and all that good stuff, it was good. I say it was good because I experienced all that when I was um, a kid. As I got older, you know, people started dying, people started showing their true colors, and the family kind of went in different directions. But that's why I salute anybody that got a structured home, that grew up in structured homes, and who got family that really, really stick together. Because, man, we live in a time now where it's not about who you related to. It's about who relate to you. That's why you got people that's cousins and people that's sisters and brothers, but they got friends that they relate to more, that they hang out with more. See, a lot of people don't know that a lot of these things are based on soul contracts. From your mama to your daddy, your brother, your sister, it don't matter. A lot of these people's were, a lot of these people were enemies in your past life. A lot of stuff deal with karma, a lot of stuff deal with um, unfinished business, a lot of stuff deal with, uh, like I said, soul contracts. And you be wondering why you just can't get on the same frequency with certain people. You wondering why you and your mama ain't got that pure, close, unconditional love bond like other people. And it might be your daddy in some cases. And then in other cases, you might bump heads with your sister all the time. And you and your brother don't see eye to eye. Y'all got the same parents, y'all lived in the same house, y'all grew up together, y'all went through a lot of experiences, whether good or bad together, but for some reason, y'all just don't click. And there ain't nothing you can do about it, but you can run out here and meet a complete stranger and get along with them for the rest of your life. And that's because family is really just a word, just like friend is a word. It's people who we don't connect with physically, but then it's other people that we connect with spiritually. You get what I'm saying? And it's no mistake. You just have to get to a point where you understand how this thing work because, like I said, man, Everything starts in the spirit first. Some stuff we ain't able to understand. Some stuff, sometimes we don't even understand certain stuff until after people die. Like when my own partner Buster died, it did something to me. Not only did I lose a part of me, but I gained another part of me in the spiritual world that introduced me to something else just because of his death. And it opened your eyes to a new reality and it make you accept things that you didn't understand before. And one of those things is why family the way that they are. You can have cousins that's been knowing you from day one and would not share none of your stuff uh, pertaining to your business, your music, or anything um, that got something to do with your occupation. They won't share it. You know what I mean? They'll acknowledge everybody else. They'll go shop with everybody else, but they won't support you, though. People will make a post saying, do y'all know anybody that do A, B, C, and D? If y'all do point me in the right direction, they'll tag everybody else and not you. When it's time for them to do something that you do, they'll go spend their money with somebody else. And they don't even realize that by them doing that, it shows you how they feel about you. You know what I mean? They don't really rock with you like that because when it comes down to me, anything that any of my people do, I'm going to holler at them first. I'm going to refer people to them first. Cause that's my people but you ain't gonna always get that same love in return because everybody not pure everybody not genuine and some people do got secret agendas towards you some people got real live vendettas against you that you don't even know nothing about and it hurts the most when it's your family because these are the people that you feel like you could call up or call on for anything but that's not always the case so you got to keep a pure heart and keep your eyes open so you don't get lost and you can really see who for you and who not for you. And stop thinking that just because people say they love you, they for you. Stop thinking because you grew up with people that are for you. Stop thinking that because somebody called you their family or their friend that they're for you. Those are only titles. Those are only labels that don't define your true nature. You get what I'm saying? Because there ain't, ain't, ain't no reason that a stranger should be playing your role better than you when it come down to me.